Okay, so this is our final project for the financial statement analysis and equity valuations. So our target company is the Kimberly Clark Corporations. So you can see we will have a detailed instructions in these lectures to show how you can form a report to study a certain company. And you can see on our backboard there are some guidance and examples for you to follow. For example, I listing you know the last year's student competitions for the equity analysis on the backboard for you to take a reference. And I also upload one Excel sheet did by one student. You are not required to do this exam you know this Excel sheet, but you can Based on this, you know, student report, you get some ideas how you can form your topics into the FT analysis. And I also, you know, help you to outline our topics for this project report, including the six part. The first part is about company overviews. Then, based on we study the business of the company, we will try to also explore the company's strategy for their operations and also did our what SWOT analysis strengths, weakness, opportunity and threat for the company with the competitors but in the same sectors. Now we will study the detail for what the basic segments, right? The, the company has multiple brands. So how each segment performs will be our focus in the third part. Last one will be the, you know, the 2019's annual and the 2020's first quarter's financial highlights. And I will provide you with the results. You can directly capture these highlights. Follow my guidance. Our focus for this project will be the number five. So in this fifth part, you need to do a financial statement analysis and equity valuations using the eWell package. Based on your study from the 1 to 5, in the final part, you will do a what? A recommendations for this stock to your potential clients. And these clients are investors in the equities. So you will re recommend, right? Do they need to buy or hold or sell the stock right, based on your study? You have possibly sniffed to the what? Kleenex tissues, right? And when you are very young, you may use what? The Huggies diaper. Right? You can see the Huggies also have a, what, a name in the Chinese above, right? Means the brand for the Kimberly Clark sold to the global market very well, right? And also in the Costco, you can see the Scott brand is very popular. So our company in this project is a company selling what? Selling many household famous names, right? The house and the House and other, you know, personal care right, products. The first part we will study what the whole company's business in our all views. And you can go to Backboard. There are three documents you should download to write this report. First one is a description of the project. Next one I provide you with our what a top hundred fastest growing and decline categories in the e-commerce and I also providing you the 2020s fact sheet for the Kimberly Club cooperations right so all these three documents you must to download to prepare the first part and you can also go to the Kimberly Club official website right? you can see the you know the brands 
for this company, they operate. And Cambridge Clark is headquartered in Dallas and operated in 34 countries with the multiple brands in the operations and they have uh, what they have the billion dollars sales every year right so their brand is very you know popular and uh, also served in more than 175 countries right? especially in asia markets right they performing very well and you can also see the you know the overall numbers right in the financial performance last year and then this is the stock price for the Kimberly Clark corporations on the market, while $38.51 per share, increased by $1.81 from the last day on the trading. And about 25% of the world populations using at least one of their products every day, right? So you can see they have a huge market share. Right, in the sectors for the household peers. And also they generate more than $18 billion in the last year. More than what? More than 170 brands are third in the, what? In the global market. So you can see our companies in this report is not a small company to explore. It's, it is a big company, right? a public company. So through this project, I want you to get some idea on how to do an uh, equity analysis right, in the financial industry. So why you try to you know, summarize the starting of the company's business? Right? There are a bunch of resources you should go to to explore the details. Right? The first one is the company's website. You should go to the Kimberly Clark's official website right, to see the introduction of the company. And also you should go to the item one on the Form 10 case. Form 10 case are uh, annual report. Right? And you can base on the 10 k on the 2019. For the first item, you can see the introduction to the business. And the 10 case available to, on our by board, you can also download from their official website. Third one, you should also refer to the 2020 spec sheet. And it is also available on our by board. And you can see the business, you know, in a comprehensive way by forming three resources. And you can see here, right, Kimberly Clark are indep indispensable part of what? life for the people, more than 175 countries. And based on the, you know, how many people they use in the, you know, can be cars products, you can tell it is very popular, right? And I hope you can summarize briefly right, from this resource about the business of what can be class corporations. The next part after you, you know, starting the business of the company, you will then describe the company's strategy. Right? Company strategy you can get from the 2020s fact sheet on by board. You can see they focus on what? Balanced sustainable growth for their KC strategy. Right? KC is a you know segment for their business. You can see this one in the next part for more details for segment. But we focus on the strategy in the second part because we want to see what's the force to drive the company in growth. But you can see the strategy here. They try to increase the sales right, every year to 1 to 3%. Also increase earnings per share for mid single digits, and also maintain the top tier ROIC, and generate increased dividend with in lines of the earnings per share. Right. So they try to help the shareholders to increase their what income right by 
providing the growth and also distribute what? Dividend. And you can also see their what? See their you know strategy in the 2022s highlights in the 2020s back sheet. Right? They were you know focus on the strategy into the three paths. The first path is grow the portfolios of iconic brands, leverage the cost and the financial disciplines. Last one, allocate capital in a value creating ways. You can see more details in the 2020s back sheet. And I hope you can, you know, try to summarize what's the most important force to drive the company to grow in the next few years right, based on their strategy. You don't need to go to the detail. Right? But you need to capture the most important key points to help this company to grow compared with the other companies. Right? What's the unique strategy they have? And also for this part, you may do a SWOT analysis. SWOT means the strengths, weakness, opportunities, and the threat. For a SWOT analysis, you can go to the Yahoo Finance for our companies, can be Clark Corporation's profiles. Okay? You can see the company's profile by listing our companies in what in the sector of the consumer defensive and also in the industry of household and personal products. Based on these categories, you can tell the company Clark right, is in a consumer staples index and for the whole index is increasing forward for 214 percent for the last 10 years can be clock performing a little bit a little bit better than a stable index but performing worse than what s p 500 And if you look at into the details of the consumer staples sectors in a Bloomberg or the other financial platform, you can see who are the competitors in these sectors to our Kimberly Clark corporations in this study, including the Clorox company, Kroger company, and also PNG. And PepsiCo incorporations, right? You know these big names, and also including some grocery stores and the wholesale stores, right? So I think the you know the most obvious competitors, right, in very similar you know business is the Clorox company, who performed the best according to this rank. Right, the Clorox performing the best, right, increasing hugely right, in the last year. And also, you can see the other companies' performance in this run. I don't including all companies in these sectors in this chart. Right, these are the top performing companies. Right, so our company clock is not too bad. Right, actually performing much much better. Than the remaining companies are not listing in this chart. Right? You can see the what's going on for their stock right in the past 12 months, right? Increased by 9.16%. And here just are comp you know some comparison between the uh, Kimberly Clark corporations right, with the Clorox companies, right? Clorox is a very special example because you know the demand for these Clorox right, is very, very popular in the recent months because of COVID-19 coronavirus, right? So you can see the pink curve, right? The curve in the pink is for the Clorox company and the blue curve, right? Blue curve for the Kimberly Clark corporations is in a, what, in a candle chart. Candle chart. And for the 
S and P 500 in the in a light blue curve, and for the Dow Jones is in a purple cur curve. And you can see from the past ten years, right, our Kimpe Clark corporations performing relatively lower than our S and P 500. But for this year, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic, the Kimberley Clark Corporation is performing a little bit better than index. Right? What happened? Because the people demand what? More tissues. And also the paper towers right? during this special time. And also you can get a comparison between the KMB with the same sectors in this chart for their dividends, earnings, insider sentiment, sustainable abilities, the hiring and innovations. So the, you know, this one is for the consumer defensive whole sectors, right? And you can see which part performing better than the whole sectors, right? Including the earnings, dividends, innovations and hirings, right? Which one perform less than the consumer defensive is for these two. One is the insider sentiment, one sustainable ability. So based on your, your studies right, from the competitors and also you know in this chart, I hope you can write something about SWOT analysis, right? What's the strength for their strategy? Right? What's the weakness? for their business, and what's the opportunities, and what's the threat for their continued sustainable growth by in the same sector. After finish this part, next part we will study something about their business segment. At this part, you can get directly from the word 2020's fact sheet. You know their business by right, including a portfolio of the multiple brands, including the Huggies, Kleenex, Scott, and the other famous brand. And uh, what's the category of these business brands? You can see there are three categories for the Kimberly Clark corporations. The first one is the personal care, including the diapers, wipes, and the other personal care products. It is account for $9.1 billion from last year's total revenues. And the next category is the consumer tissue, including the facial tissue, bathroom tissue, and paper towers for $6 billion in the last year's revenue. Last one is for the KNC professionals, right? KNC, K means the Kimberly. Right, same as Clark, right? Kimberly Clark professionals, including a facial, uh, facial tissue, base room tissue, and paper towers for away from the home use, and also the wipers and the safety products. This one is, is for the small and new categories they form in a you know past decade, right? And this part is takes a small account for 3.3 .3 billion dollars. You can see from the Second part, second part, right? We study the strategy of the company. They try to grow this part for more work, for more revenues in the next few years, right? So they design a strategy for this part, for this part, especially. And also, you can see the descriptions on the Yahoo Finance and the other, you know, website. For example, Morningstar, right? You can also see the details for the three segments, right? including what? Personal care, consumer tissue, and KNC professionals. You can see more detail of the brands under each categories. And how this segment will be will perform right? in, a, in this year or in the next quarter, we can do some, you know, Simple study by right, in this in this part by right, in this part for the segment right for the segments we can do a simple study for each part 
How can you do a forecast? We can see something in the pictures I provide on the on the blackboard, right? I provide the top hundred fastest growing and declining categories in e-commerce for the March 2020 compared with the last year. And you can see in the top hundred fastest growing categories, right? It's including what? Paper towers ranked on the numbers 11th by increase more than 250% from last year. And also the facial tissues and diapers increased also a lot, ranked on the 16th and the 41st. And for the other categories, you can also check more details on the pictures I provide on the blackboard. Right? And uh, you can see the toilet papers increase by what? 190%. Right? So most their segment are demanded much more from the last quarter in this year because of the pandemic. Right? People, you know, using the e-commerce demand more paper towers by fish facial tissues and diapers and the others right, from the, their products. So based on uh, these stack lines, you know, pictures I provide, you can also check more details for their segment, then do a reasonable forecast for each segment right, in the next quarter. Do you expect they will increase more demand in the future, right, especially in the near quarter? Right? Will their sales increase for each segment? Which segment will perform best? Which segment will be you know, performing relatively weaker in the next quarter? You can do a small what, forecast. And also, you can use uh, this chart to give you some implications right, for their demand for the pandemic cycle. Right? You know, uh, this is from uh, Morgan Stanley. Right? They use a model to predict right, what's the potential pattern of the COVID-19 pandemic. You can say they predict right, the case of the new confirmed patients will gradually reducing right, for the whole country from the later of April to the July. Then in the summer, the case will be controlled, but there will be a possible second wave in uh, November and uh, December. So based on this pattern, maybe you can forecast right, what's going on in the next quarter for the Kimberly Clark Corporation's products, right? With the you know less patients confirmed, right? Our economies will be possibly you know reopened more aggressively. So if the people not pandemic in the pandemic, right, they are not panic about pandemic, how their you know consuming consuming behavior will be changed. Will they continue to store more toilet paper in their home? Or they will reduce spending in the toilet paper and tissues? Right? You can do a reasonable you know forecast based on this graph. So that's for the segment right, in the third part. Right? The first part, we will start to do something more important for this course. It's forward. For the financial part, right, for the financial statements part. And you can see, first one, we try to summarize our 2019's annual highlights. What's going on for their business right, in their 2019's performance? Right, you can see some you know special features right, for this company in the what? In the form 10K 2019's. And I also post this 10K on the backboard. Right? So in the item 7 for the management discussion and analysis, right, you can see the some detail forward. For the discussion of the results of operations, right, critical accounting policy, 
and the other liquidity and capital resource and off balance sheet obligation. If anything, you know, something exceptional for this company happen, you can mention that. Right? In addition to the performance of the financial, right, you can observe in a you know growth from the previous years, right? You also need to pay attention to this part, right, to see what's what's something exceptional happen to this company. Right? And for the uh, financial performance, you can have a brief pictures right, from the fact sheet 2020 right, to see what's the overview of the 2019's financial performance, including net sales, right, operating profit, net income, cash provided to by the operations, dividend per share, and the total assets. Right? This is all views, right? Based on this number, you cannot directly give a what give a you know report right, to show the trend. Right? So next one, you can see the trend more clear right, by compare with the previous years. Right, do a what do a horizontal analysis. Right, do a horizontal right, analysis. How can we do the horizontal analysis? Right, you can see the picture here. Right, you have the four years. Right, together right, in this chart, right, you can compare our numbers right, with what with the previous years. Right? For example, our organic sales grows four percent right, from what last year, much higher than the previous growth rate. Right? Profit margin is okay. Not exactly, you know, grows much higher. Than previous years, right? And cost saving is, is displayed in this chart, right? Earnings per share continue stable, you know, growth. And they also reduce what? They reduce the cash conversion cycle, right? And we actually solve this cash conversion cycle in the midterm exams. How to solve this one, right? We use what? Days in what? This in the inventory, right? Plus what? Days in account, right? Receivable, right? Minus days in what? Account payables, right? Now you solve what? Cash conversion cycle, right? This measures what? From the date, right? You pay to the supplier. Until the date you receive your own payment from you selling the manufactured goods, right? What's the duration? Right? What's the period? So the shorter of the cash conversion cycle means you have more ability to collect in the cash efficiently, right? So you can say they continue reduce the cash conversion cycle means they have what they have the more and more sound what working capitals. And we also have the ROIC, right? Operating profit, right? Net income and earnings and ROIC, right? Are all adjusted data. Be careful, right? So you should check more details, right? In the financial statements, but right? not just based on this chart only. And we also have the dividend payout, right? So their dividend payout is, is you know, a relative very stable compared with the other companies, right? They always pay the 60% of their you know, earnings right, as what as pay payout ratio for dividends. They also you know make a maintain a what stable share repurchase right, for the past four years. So you can summarize right, this trend right, in the highlights of what 2019's financial performance for the company. Next one, you should also mention the most recent performance for this company. In the first quarter 2020s highlights, you don't need to read the whole you know financial statements in detail. They are already summarized some key points in what in this link. So please open this link right to see what's the highlights for the first quarter of what 2020. So this is the one uh, earnings uh public you know released. How the managers talk about their performance. So you can get these highlights right, from reading these articles right, in this link. These articles include in, including what? 
one's executive summaries for the highlights of the first quarter. Then you can see the detail for the operating results and business segments results in the first quarter. And this is overall performance, but this is for a different segment. And also they providing a simple and brief outlook right, for the whole year 2020. Right? So you can list it, right? you can list the key points right, in this link right, for your first quarter highlights. So after you summarize uh, you know, last year and the first quarter of this year's highlights, you will go to a detail to study what? Financial statements and apply our study of financial statements into what? Into our active valuations. So the part, top part five is the most important part in our report. You must show the details of your forecast of the active value in this part with your Excel sheet. So how can you get the financial statements? You can basically from the 10K on uh, item 8, right, you can see the detail of the financial statements by right, including the two years balance sheet, three years income statements, and the three years work statement of cash flows. But for our forecast, we need to have our historical five years. right? So this is not enough. Right? We must have more work financial statements in our hand. So I providing this three link for you to download five years data right, from the word from the twenty fourteen to twenty nineteen. Right. So you can capture all this data right, directly from this three link for income statements by balance sheet and cash flow statements. And this data is from what? SEC, right? So all these data are audited right? and then that's the data you know mirrored from the SEC everything will be consistent just be careful right there's a item forward for the S G and A and the research and what development so these two have something you know not correct you should change this data when you copy this data to work to eval right well you know when we middle the data from sec right this website happened to put the number into it into the ind however data should be in the sg and a right so you should switch the line between these two right when you try to copy the data to the eval right worksheet please make sure you will swap you know these two lines the other numbers are consistent right and also the data in the three sheet here right is in the dollars right but in the financial statements we are in a what thousand dollars right so just be careful right when you try to paste the numbers you should drop the three zeros right okay so let's say the examples for these email operations. So after you you know download the data, you can copy and paste the data to the word to the email worksheet. Right? Emails available in our textbook website is also directly can be downloaded from our backboard. So once you open the email package, there are multiple sheets available in this package. We will first do some adjustment in what in the first sheet after introductions where you can see the financial statement sheet what do you need to do you need to copy the data for our corporations like KMB into this part into this part you want to match everything consistent right, from the data I give to you right including you know how many shares outstanding that should be here and also you can get these other data right, from the five years statement right, I provide right, including the sales cost of goods sir right, that's from the income statements right like I mentioned IND expense URI we keep zero right we put all expense is in SGMA 
and this depreciation amortization is from the cash flow statement. And we have the interest expense, non operating income, right? Income tax. Everything will be directly you can capture from what? From the three link I provide. Right? You can just copy the data and paste into this what? In this area. Once you paste the area with the data from our corporations, right? Now all the sheets in this package will automatically what? Adjusted and updated, right? For every sheet. So this is the area what you need to do for this package. You don't need to do anything else, right? Only thing you need to do just what? Just what? To change the numbers below, right? Then everything above and in the other sheets will be automatically what? Updated, right? Including the ratio analysis, right? Cash flow analysis, forecasting, valuation, right? Everything will be updated right? with the number you update in this area, right? That's the most important part you need to do for these eval evaluations. After you updating, you know, this data right, in, this, in this highlight area, right? You can see the results will be generated automatically, right? For example, you can get a what? You can get a residual income valuations, right? Sheet in the package. You will see the price for the stock, right? For what? For the next year, right? Next year, based, uh, for the, this stock, right? Based on the, you know, based on your forecast of cash flows right, in the future, right? You can also use this sheet to review our calculations of the residual income model for equity valuations right, based on the residual income calculations. And also you can see the sheet for the discounted cash flow valuations. And you can see the numbers directly right, will be automatically generated from the eval package. And uh, when you try to prepare the report, you need to capture the screenshot of these two page of the eval package right, on your what, on your reference or appendix right, of your report. Right? So that's how you generate right, these results. You must to show the detail right, of this screenshot right, on your report. And also I need you to provide in this model summary right in your uh, fifth part right, as the major body of the fifth part right this one's also available in our work in our email package right you can you know you can open the different sheets right there's a sheet here right to summarize the model result so this is the part you need to capture right, in your report so that's our major part of this report Right, so we try to use our eval package to derive the estimated price of the stock for the KMB. Right, that's very important because based on this price, you can do some what comparison of the market price. So while I you know try to work on this report, right, this weekend, right, we can see the price is one thirty eight point fifty one. And what's the price you solved by use this eval package will be very meaningful right, to compare with market price. If you see the price you solved higher than the market price, right, means the KMB are underpriced, right? You think it will be a good time to buy the stock right for long term to see the price will very possibly to go up, right? But if you saw the solve the price, right? Lower than the market price, right? Means the stock are overpriced. You will re recommend right, to not hold in the stock or sell the stock, right? So, so you need to solve this price, use our email package first, then compare with your market price of this stock, right? Based on this comparison, finally in the part six, right, you will do some what? Recommendations. And recommendations will be not limited to the price you solve by right, use the eval package. Of course, you will also based on a part one, two, four, right, to give these recommendations. Right. So your recommendations. Firstly, you will use number you solve in the part five to compare with the market price to see the difference. But you know the model is not perfect. Right, especially you use the eval package, right? Maybe some 
specification of the parameter of the model is not very you know perfect right so the number can be not you know consistent maybe sometimes even what misleading right so you also need to check the part one two four you summarized before the part five right to give a rational rational what recommendation right so your recommendation for this stock to the investors will be buy or hold or sell or strong buy right this is the actual you know recommendations in the industry for our can be stock right for can be companies you see the average recommendation for the can be's is between a hold and buy so the investors believe right it is a fair priced stock so they suggest the uh, you know most investors to hold the stock and you can see the price now is 138.51 right our average price solved in the form of model in different financial companies right is 146.92 so there are eight dollars right difference so people are expecting the price will converge to some price a little bit higher than the price on the market right so that's why people suggest to hold and also buy and the lowest target is 125 highest is 165 so what's your estimate price right is this price you estimated in this range or beyond this range right what's the reason right that's the reason maybe the you know the eval package is not working very well or maybe there are something you know cause your miscalculations right you should also double check right the range of the on the market right to compare with the price you sold lastly right, i also want to show you the trend for recommendations you can see from the february to the May, right? There are more people suggest what holding, right? Compare with what? Compare with the last two last two months, right? Because you know, based on market trend or demand of the tissue and paper towers, right? And also maybe the pricing of the models, right? More analysts, right? Recommend to what? To hold this stock. Right, and also you can see the earnings for this our company, right? Kimberly Clark Corporations, right? You can see they beat the earnings seasons, right? For most quarter. Uh, 2019 second quarter, right? Beat six cent, and the last quarter, the first quarter of 2020, beat by what? 55 cents, right? You see the price of the stock for this year right, it gradually goes up right so that actually consistent with what with the chance right they can beat in the next quarter right so you can also mention this one in your report right if the stock can beat in the earnings with a what with a high margin right you can expect in the price for what will be gross right in the next quarter or next month so here it is our guidance for this report like i mentioned by right, this report including including what including a six part right our focus will be use the eval to do some equity valuations right in the part five and also through this eval operations you can also see many different things for the financial statements analysis by right, including the cash flow analysis including the cost of capital right, including the models right, to do the valuations right, for equities right so i hope these operations on eval can give you a comprehensive study and practice right, for this course right in the first part of these matters we use the bgs technology case right to study are overviews of the financial statement analysis through this project i hope you can incorporate the financial statement analysis into equity valuation to realize some goals right to do something 
more practical in industry right, for your clients and investors. Right? So I hope you can take this three week right to finish this project right and uh, show a very you know polished report right, based on my guidance in this six part. So report will be a brief executive right, report. So you don't need to you know put so many words, so many details right in each part, especially for one, two, three. Right? I know some people are very good at writing. However, for report should be more precise, should be more what briefly. Right, so I hope to say something, you know, you you summarize right briefly and precise with something unique right, for this company to show this three part. Not you know capture and copy everything down right from the result we show right in this guidance. Right? You need to listen what you think right it is unique for this company, right? In this three part for in your report. And for the fifth part, right, I hope you you know, do the email practice right, by pasting the numbers right, into the area right, to generate these results right, automatically. So that's the report that right, you want to uh, provide for the final grading. Right? So if you have any questions, let me know right, in the next class. And also, you can put your comments below the video in the YouTube right, for these lectures. Right? If you open the lectures right, in the YouTube, you can see there's a channel for my personal. Right? You can always put the comments below. Right? You can say, you know, we can collect any questions you have and give you some answer in the next week. Right? So please let me know any feedback you have right, for this uh, report.